I've been practicing a lot in the last two weeks, ever since I found out about the Damasuka. Yeah. Um, so for me, the loving kindness has kind of changed in how it feels. So my question is, should I try to get the love, the like the meta feeling to come back or do I just sit with what I'm feeling right now? Okay, let me ask you a question. How long are you sitting? The longest one today was 50 minutes, but I'm going to okay. do a two hour one after this call. Okay. And how long are you able to stay with your spiritual friend before uh, it, it moves away, before you want to, to do the practice? How many right. minutes? So, uh, so without me actually feeding energy into these thoughts, like really being pulled away at the longest is probably 10 to 12 minutes. That's very good. Have you had, did you feel joy arise? Uh, feel yes, a okay. lot of joy. Uh -huh. um, and then it kind of subsides. And then it's this mellow feeling. Okay, it's so, really, really, really mm -hmm. pleasant. But very. So if, you draw, if you draw on a piece of paper, what happens is when the joy comes up, the joy is there for a little bit. When it starts to fade, that mellow feeling is called pasadi. That is tranquility. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then what happens uh, after that, what happens is when the tranquility fades away, you still have in your gut sort of a contented sort of feeling. It's kind of a, yeah. a nice feeling. It's not the same yeah. as the tranquility, not that deep. Now, when you come back, um, did you, let me ask you another question. Did your spiritual friends smile back to you? Yeah. Okay, so you feel that they're happy like you're happy. You're like you're feeling this. They could feel it too. Yeah, that's a it's really, like we're that's hanging really out. Good sign. It's so like, that, that hanging yeah. out is the best way. Yeah. So that's that's like a marker, two markers. They had joy come up. And the second one was that your friend was smiling back. Now, let me ask yeah. you a third question. When you were doing this, um, did you uh, feel like the feeling was starting in the chest and in the heart, but it wants to move upwards into the head. Did it feel that way? Wanted to move up up into the head? Yeah, so okay. first... Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> that's okay. Now it moves up in the head when it wants to move up into the head. One of the things about that third marker is that the... the strength of the loving kindness will get a little bit less less strong when it moves yeah. up into the head did it feel softer much softer okay like sort of like cotton sort of yes exactly yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. and then it sort of it goes from the head and it then it's like kind of everywhere and then it's like um floating around like okay like, so let's let's back up to one more question when that just yeah. before that started happening did your head feel like it was full sort of fuller or a little bit larger and then that sort of thing started happening out here where if you close your eyes did it feel like it moved away inside if you were watching did it feel like you were there yeah but you felt like it was a moving away yeah. thing Okay. It's like a big that's, bubble that's expanding. There you go. So that's the yeah. base where you are as you've gone through the first four levels very quickly and you've gotten to a spot that's called the base of infinite space. So if you close your eyes and you start to practice now, you will see sometimes very quickly that you can still be in that state very quickly. You can let your spiritual yeah. friend go. And don't do any more verbalization now. You don't need to. Yeah, I've and stopped doing that. Okay, good. Just intent, that's good. You, your intuition is right to stop the verbalization. So now what's happened is when that happened and it's expanding like that, when you, I want you to change your practice now just a little bit, okay? 
we're going to change the practice. Now, this second kind, the second practice we do, it's not really a practice. I kind of got to the point where I can see clearly what I'm going to ask you to do is simply testing. It's a quiz for your brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to quiz your brain and we're just going to see that if I give you this information and you carry it out in your next sitting, then it means that your brain is following your intention very easily. So here's, it's like a game for the brain. It works like right. this. You choose three, you can write this down if you want. You choose three more people that are just like the first person, okay? And you put them on a little paper if you want. And then one by one, you're going to ask them to come in like a room, like it's your doctor's office and they come in to say hello and you smile at them. And if they smile right back to you, they only have to smile right back to you. Then you say, thank you, you're in good shape and let them go home. Then the next person comes in, you do the same thing with them and they go home. And then the third person comes in, they do that and they go home. Now you're finished with those. Now you're going to choose four family members. And these four family members, uh, and actually those other three that you chose, they can be either sex. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. So it can be either a sex person. And the four people you choose now are family members but they still must be alive. All these people must be alive, not dead and not ill or injured because that'll pull your mind running off. Uh, not, not ill either? Just no. Fully well, well. Okay. if it's a long-term illness, I don't think it hurts that much, but you can't get into the story at all about, oh, that poor person, I feel so sorry for them, sympathetic, empathetic. Yeah. You, can't, you can't go there when you're practicing, okay? Okay until later, then tonight you can do it for 10 minutes before you go to sleep, that's fine. But when you're practicing in your session, I want you to keep it clean, okay? Yeah. So the way you do it is you take four family members, immediate or extended family members, and you work them one person at a time with the same technique where they just come in to greet you and you smile. If they smile, then that's it. Okay, and then the third group of people that you choose are four neutral people. So what is a neutral person? Uh, the, the bank teller, you know, the postmaster, uh, the ski instructor you see occasionally, and the guy who fixes your car. I mean, these are not real, you know, uh, close people, but you wanna see if it'll work with them. And so then you do them the same way. And then the last part is a little bit uh, a little bit more difficult because what you're going to do is you're going to choose uh, four people that you consider troublesome people, and these are people, yeah, you know, the people that you don't get along so well with when you try to work with them on a project. Or something. Those persons, you ask them to do it, but they go out and do something else and never get it done for you. This kind of annoyance type person, frustration. <laughs> You, you take them, or if it's somebody you have a grudge for a long time, yeah. and you take that person and you're, you're laughing, but they're not laughing, you know, but you, <laughs> you, know, you ask them to come, you see what your brain will do with it. Can yeah. they just smile and carry your smile to them and they smile and smile back again? Can that happen? You go through them and at least four of them, if you wanna do more of them, it's okay. Now, when you're doing this, Thing. The reason I call it is this called breaking down the barriers. And it's a quiz for your brain. It's not really a practice because we're only going to do this in one session uh, and of or maximum of maybe one hour's time. Because look how fast it was. And yeah. what you're doing is you're attempting to see. Am I able to open up this communication thing from my heart to my head? I want you to do this. Yes, I will. Yes, I will again and again. And see if you can train your brain to cooperate with your intentions. That's what you're doing. 